justice comes for us when we don't have to go and hunt toxic animals, we don't have to fish for toxic things, that we're not living in a Superfund site. Um, Which is true. You're currently living in a in acknowledged federal, state, government knowledge. Every, this is Superfund site. Every 48 homes. It used to be 80. Who can we call to? There are people out there who have yeah, um, influence, power, money, who care about things like this. Yeah, well, there's the Mark Ruffalo's of the world. And Mark Ruffalo involved in New York. I believe you're from New York, in New York oh, State, uh, Mark. You were heavily involved in fracking and, and lifting the veil of, 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 you know, about that. Um, we would love to have you involved. Uh, I mean, come on, DiCaprio, Edward Norton, who else is out Absolutely. there? Absolutely. Well, I'll, many, right? I'll even give you some other ones, right? Yeah. There is the Iroquois Confederacy. There is the Pequot Nation in Connecticut. We all need to think about it. Yeah. And we as Native people also need to know that we need to not take the colonialistic part of our lives and apply them to other Native people or just people in general. Hmm. And, you know, that's all a part of healing. That's like this land that's here, right? It's in, the, it's in the beginning stages. And even though we sit here and look and there's some trees that they planted and all these plants, right? This is just the beginning. This is like the beginning of the creation story, hmm. right? Because when they first did this, when they removed everything, it was just soil, right? And then there was a seed that was planted, and then the water came. The reset. And then it started to grow, you know, and then the turtle came, and then the bugs came, and then the deer and all those other animals. And that is what we'd like to see. And then, yeah. and then the humans can uh, come back absolutely. and hunt yeah. the land and absolutely. live in balance truly with. I just wanted to make one reference to uh, what you were saying about indigenous people. Um, and it's true, right? When the indigenous people start to notice that the things around them in their home and nature start to change or disappear, they know that something's wrong. And so uh, you talked about the, the, um, the tsunami over there. And when that, tsunami, when that tsunami happened, all of the visitors to that place, right? Indonesia, they all were like, oh, wow, what's that out there? And they all walked out to where the water used to be. Not one of those people were indigenous. Oh, interesting. All of those indigenous people You're not saw talking. the animals leaving. And oh. most of the indigenous people left to go to the highest points and followed the animals. And that is the same thing that happens here. You know, we watched the animals disappear, right? Then we watched us start to disappear because we are in that contained reservation without a border, right? right? And so what did we do? We stayed there. Right? And people died. And they're continuing to die. Roger Nash Baldwin, uh, I love this quote. He says that the reasonable man accepts the world for how it is. It's fine. I accept it. That's who I am. The unreasonable man, woman, child, person, the unreasonable person persists in trying to adapt the world to, to him or herself. Therefore, all progress, not some, but all progress, relies upon the unreasonable person, the unreasonable man. And, and I definitely know that you are unreasonable in that awesome way. I know that Ralph Nader is unreasonable. I know that Mark Ruffalo is unreasonable. And, and I would like to be anywhere in the realm of being unreasonable. So, so for those of you watching, you know, these episodes that we want to highlight positive green, one dollar, one tree. I mean, this is it. This is how we heal our people. This is where you should donate, you know, uh, to, to bioremediate um, to the Turtle Clan. To give back to those who are still here despite everything. everything. Thanks for watching Reforestation Nation, where we interview impact leaders about how we can scientifically thrive with nature. And as always, subscribe to stay alive by clicking here and watch more content with us right here. Please click and subscribe. This is Martin from Seven Generation. If there's any green guru, it's him. If he's doing it, I would do it too. Click and subscribe. To stay alive. We'll you think see they're you really time. gonna do that? I hope so. Okay. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see. All right, Martin, thank you, sir. Pleasure, Alex.